Only on a take two. Is this the pipe party? Yeah, maybe it's harder to ask her out. <laughs> maybe it's, it maybe like it's scarier to ask her out. Yeah, no, no, don't show me anything cool to really just make it real for you. Okay. Walk up to the coolest person you've ever met and check. Be cool, be cool, be cool, uh, be cool, be cool, be cool. You coming to the pipe party? X body spray and unicorn stamps? I think I'll pass. You could tell it was Axe. Are you kidding? You know you didn't really wear Axe, right? Act like you're so offended, even though you're not wearing Axe body spray. You could tell it was Axe? Maybe pierce your heart. Oh, my hopes with you are crushed. Oh, you could tell it was Axe. <laughs> Good. Is she laughing? Maybe she's laughing. Good. Keep going. The sweet smell of conformity and delusion <laughs> with a hint of musky desperation. I, I knew I should have gone with the citrus blend. <laughs> Are you seriously going to study on the first Friday night of freshman? I mean, of um, first year? Year? <laughs> I'm on scholarship, and I'm applying for a summer internship in D.C. Going to the pipe party and catching gonorrhea from a frat boy isn't going to help me with that. Not all frat boys have gonorrhea. Some have crabs. I, on the other hand, I'm not a frat boy, so, you no, know. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, if you're worried about catching something, I am 100% disease free. Never even had chicken box. You sound- Can you brag about your specimenness? Look at me, check out my body. It is clean. I never even had chicken box. <laughs> you sound perfect. Should we do it here, or how about in the stacks at the library? Keep it small, keep it small, keep it real. <clears throat> really? No. <laughs> Look, Toby, I like you, but I don't have time for a boyfriend. Booty cool, calls are cool too. Toby, boys are- Tell her that again and joke around with her. Booty calls are cool too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, boys are not a part of my plan, so stop hitting on me. I get it. You don't have time for fun, or beer, or a CDs. Good, that's a triplet. So play your joke. Ready? What do you have time for? Ask her again. You don't have time for fun, beer. I right? get it. Play an opposite with STDs. I get it. You don't have time for fun, or beer, or STDs. I mean, good. What now do play you it like it's so sad. Move up to her. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what do you have time for? Ask her about it. She doesn't have time for fun. And let those three things roll this time. Don't pause. I get it. So sad. You don't have time for fun or beer or STDs. Make that so sad the worst part. But don't pause. Or S the whole thing. I, I I just don't get it. I mean you don't have you time do for get fun. it. You yeah, do get I, it. I, I get Tell it. Her. You don't have time for fun. Or beer. Or STDs. <laughs> what do you have time for? A friend. Oh well okay then. We'll just be friends. Great. No, I, I mean, wait, I didn't mean... As a friend, I think you should know that your breath smells like garlic. <laughs> party on, dude. <laughs> Give her, like, a party on sign. Awesome friend. <laughs> Good, keep going. <laughs> You're at the party now. Just relax. Play the game. Is that milk you're drinking? Cause girl, it is doing your body good. I'm lactose intolerant. I mean, I'm not drunk. I'm just intoxicated by you. Nice shoes. Uh, Jessica Simpson, right? And, and, and that haircut is great for your cheekbones. Very, very Rachel McAdams. You think so? I actually bought a picture from the notebook into my stylist. I love that movie. It was an improbable romance. She had the world at her feet while he didn't have two dimes to rub together. <laughs> Isn't Ryan Gosling the best? The best. I'm Dahlia. Toby. Ladies. I want you to meet someone. This is Toby. He's super cool, super funny, and super gay. <laughs> but, but, but I'm not.
Oh, keep going. That page is crossed out. Oh, sorry. It's okay. No, no, you're fine. I'm seeing three now. It's been just the copy machine. So, um, but I'm not. It stands. Scene three. Yeah, um, she's good. How you like me now? You having a good time? The best. I've never really had guy friends before. This is great. It, is it just me, or has this whole what if feels like for a girl thing gone a little too far? I mean, what does wearing high heels or knowing Robert Pattinson's shoe size have to do with being a ladies' man? Size. Ten. And I think because most girls want to be with guys that appreciate them. Right? Or, or, or I mean, they're trying to cut off our balls. <laughs> exactly. My girl's always trying to change me. Don't pick your nose. Don't fart. Don't masturbate next to me while I'm sleeping. But you don't have that problem. <laughs> Ashley, Dahlia, and that hot librarian chick. It looks like you have all your bitches in line. I mean, I wouldn't call them my bitches. I call them my biatches! That's what I'm talking about. And I just don't get them in line. I get them lined up. All the hoes want to ride on this baloney pony. I, I <laughs> boy. Uh, yeah. Sluts think they don't. Do you have that line? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Where is it? End of three. Right there. Oh yeah, okay. Let's, let's sorry, let's just go up. Just take it, yeah. Take it from your last line, below me, phony, whatever. And I just, and I don't just get them in line. Make sure this is dangerous. This is dangerous. You've got to really sell this. These guys are ready to beat you up if you don't sell it. Go. <laughs> and I just don't get them in line. I got them lined up. All them hoes want to ride on this baloney pony. I boy. <laughs> so let's think they know me. They don't know nothing. I ain't no friend. No Mr. No Mr. Nice Guy. Watch out, Lizadies. Mr. Olympus has got your Trojan horse right here. Good, keep going. What makes you a ladies man? I'm not. I think you you walk on that stage, you're about to win, you've got to decide. Walk in there like you're going to still do this, you're going to, okay. yeah, here we go. What makes you a ladies man? Now look at your friends in the audience. Try to lie, try to lie. Say all these great qualities of mine. Change your mind. I'm not. I'm not a ladies' man, and I never was. Say it into the mic, keep going. I wasn't happy with my life, and I thought that winning this contest would change that. I've learned a lot from this competition. Tell these other ladies. I've learned a lot from this competition. Use the mic. It's not about, it's not about being a ladies' man. It's about having the confidence to become your own man. In order to win, I thought I had to be all things to all people. And maybe that's really what it feels like for a girl. Always judging yourself against some ridiculous standard of perfection that society puts out. You can't worry about what other people think. A good friend told me that. I didn't listen. So maybe, so maybe I'll never be a ladies' man. But maybe someday, someday we can just be friends. <laughs>